Well, hey, salutations, YouTube. What's going on? Don't have a whole lot to report this week. Uh, um, if you watched the Memorial Day episode, maybe you thought this, maybe you didn't, but it's probably a good thing I didn't get the go-kart done in time for that trip. Even if I never took it out of my truck, that thing would have just been poured on, so... Oh man, it just rained all weekend. I still have some aftermath footage I want to share with you guys. Um, I don't know if I'll do it. If I do, it'll be in this video. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, it's been crazy busy at work. Um, yeah, I take that back. That's probably a little overstating it. But it's been busy. Um, this week will be busy. I haven't worked on the go-kart since... Last week I was uh, doing some home improvement projects, so but got that done yesterday on my wedding anniversary, 7th wedding anniversary, so that's another reason why it's Monday that I'm recording, not Sunday. This is, as you imagine, I uh, spent some time with the old wife, so um, yeah, I don't think she would have been too cool with me videotaping out here, but it was good, it was good, um, finally crossed off another New Year's Resolution Home Improvement products Project, so, so that's good. But hey, one thing I do want to share with you guys is, uh, some of you may know, but I was the winner of the 1,000th follower giveaway from George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And um, I know what's in here. I guess if you watched, you know it's probably in here too, but I, it came last week, maybe Thursday, and um, but I haven't opened it since because I wanted to put it on camera. I wanted to be a little candid, but um, so congratulations to you, George, on follower number 1,000. And I suppose we can call this my first ever mail call. And, um, yeah, so, no further ado. What do you know? There's some more stuff in here aside from the prize, which you guys may or may not know about. Remember, George is giving away a clock. Not just any old clock, but a clock set in a 1957 Chevy Bel Air headlight bezel. And as you guys probably know from seeing my garage, I'm a pretty uh, hardcore Ford man, but when it comes to 1957 Chevy Bel Air, it doesn't get much more Americana than that. And talk about a tried and true classic. When I think of hot rodding, I always think of the uh, the two things that I think are very quintessential hot rod or American: 1932 Ford Roadster and a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Call it the American graffiti poster, but George, this is awesome. I think I'm going to put it right up here so I can have something to reference. This will be awesome because I'm always, uh, now that I have a smartphone, I'm always wary to be out in the garage working with uh, my smartphone in my pocket. So that's awesome. Thank you much, George. Um, and again, congratulations on the 1,000th follower. But, of course... How ironic, I forgot about this. George, of course, part of his sticker is a 1932 Ford Roadster, so... Or maybe I'm wrong. You can correct me if I'm wrong in the, uh... In the, uh... In the comments below. But, uh... Slap this on in the, uh... Well, I don't know if I know exactly where it's gonna go yet. Probably on my toolbox somewhere, but... Thank you, George, and of course... 
sent in a little note in which he says, Thank you, Grant, for participating in our drawing. It's guys like you that make my channel a joy to share on. Hey, well, thanks, George. Uh, blessings, George Donner, the Shade Tree Fix It Man. P.S. The battery's in the bottom of the box in a baggie. Oh, hey. <laughs> All right. Well, glad I read that. So, um, but hey, yep. Yeah, I'm going to keep it short here this week. Hoping this coming Sunday I'll be able to work on the uh, on the good cover. Actually, probably Friday night too, because my wife has a girls' night out, so it'll be some good good time to uh, spend some time in the garage. Probably after I mow my lawn, and I guess five minutes and fifty seconds is too short for me. So, <laughs> but one thing I'll say is uh, uh, I can't wait to. Uh, can't wait to do some cleaning. You can see my workbench is just a mess. I've got uh, some tools I've borrowed from from Dad. Chop saw, skill saw. I need to get that back to him. That was for the uh, home improvement project. So, um, yeah, just uh, life's a little cluttered right now, and, and I'm 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 ready to start. <laughs> organizing a little. But hey, till next time, peace out. Well, YouTube, just when we thought it couldn't get worse than my bachelor party year, it did. And so, uh, that toned us down quite a bit. Um, but you can see the muddy mess we had all, all weekend. So, uh, we're going to see if I can even get out of the drive without getting stuck. Which will be a trick. But we got time. It's nice and slow. Oh, 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 oh. And that's it. Well, YouTube, you know, I look forward to that every year. Probably was in the uh, bottom of the 13 years we've been doing it. Man, the rain really just sucked the fun out of everything. Uh, it's just, I just ran over a spot on the road, had to cross some water. Uh, just things are, things are flooding. Uh, yeah, hopefully I don't run into any more spots on the road I gotta worry about. Um, hey, but the food was probably in the top top of the 13 years. But anyway, I take a different way back than I do down usually. And uh, it's pretty sweet down here. Hills and hills and wooded areas, but you can see these fields over here, how much water's in them. Hey, as long as I make it home safe, that's all I care about. <laughs>